Hey everybody, this is Wes with A1 Comics. Exciting news, uh, I mentioned it on our Instagram story, but we have a new collection of some really exciting CGC books, and we're doing something unique today. Obviously, you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, this is the first time we're going to make books available specifically for our YouTube video before we make them available anywhere else. So, you're watching this, you're getting a first crack at these books, and these are some really cool books. Um, some keys, some high-grade books, and I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. And, um, yeah, I think we'll do something uh, special as far as if you claim off this YouTube video, um, we will waive shipping. So, that's exciting. So, let's see what we got in this box of fun stuff. We've got Amazing Spider-Man 37. Uh, this is the first Norman Osborn. First appearance of Norman Osborn. So, a big key. Uh, seven five white pages from 1966. So, an early Silver Age book. You've got artwork from Steve Ditko. The next book we have is Amazing Spider-Man 83, which is the first appearance of The Schemer and Vanessa Fisk. Very cool. Also, if you've watched The Daredevil Show, Vanessa, very topical. Uh, eight oh white pages again. Really hard to get white pages on uh, some of these earlier Spider-Man books. This one's from 1970, so more uh, into the Bronze Age than Silver Age, but still an early Spider-Man book. And here's a much later Spider-Man book, more of a Copper Age book. Amazing Spider-Man 365, 98 white pages. First appearance of Spider-Man 2099. Um, so it's a bit of a controversial book because it's a more of a preview than a true first appearance, but people still cite this as the first appearance, and it is still the money book for sure. The next book I have is an Avengers 57. Uh, or sorry, not 57. I, I got a little bit excited there. It's a 62, uh, 70 again white pages from 1969. This is a really clean copy, nice clean back cover. Um, first appearance of Manny Mbaku, uh, who a lot of people kind of speculated would have a major role in the next Black Panther movie. And again, this is a very nice copy of this book for how old it is indeed. He, he could even be the next Black Panther. Uh, and we've got an Avengers 69. Uh, eight five white pages. First appearance of the Grandmaster, made famous by... Um, Jeff Gold. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> we were just talking about him, and I was hoping you would like throw, like hop in there. Uh, yeah, first appearance of Squadron Sinister. Again, eight five white pages from 1969. So late Silver Age, well, beginning of the Bronze Age, really. Um, yeah, really cool. Again, a high grade book um, for a kind of a minor key. I really like his character uh, in Thor: Love and Thunder. Or not Ragnarok. Thunder, Ra Ragnarok. Gosh, it's Thor: Ragnarok. Don't it's listen a, to Wes. It's a bit of a morning. <laughs> And here, if you're a Fantastic Four fan, you're in luck. We have a few Fantastic Four goodies. Got Fantastic Four 10. Uh, from 1963, this is a 6.5 cream to off-white pages. I've always loved Angry Reed Richards on this. Um, just a really nice early book. Um, and a very acceptable grade. We've got Fantastic Four 11, First Impossible Man, who could... Def definitely could appear in a future Marvel movie. 6.5 off white to white pages. Um, yeah, so. Again, Creator so of the Impossible Burger. Fantastic Four 14 uh, from 1963. <laughs> Submariner appearance and first appearance of the Puppet Master and Submariner's butt. Um, so, yeah, 6.5, again, 6.5 white pages from 1963. So, this is one of the earliest um, white pages books we have in this box. Uh, again, everything Fantastic Four is definitely picking up steam in anticipation of them being in the MCU. And there's more. We got Fantastic Four 16, a great Doctor Doom cover. Um, this is also the first Ant-Man crossover. Uh, so not a major key, but just a really fun cover with a uh, beautiful red to pink gradient on the cover. And uh, Doom looking large and in charge, very ominous. So 6-0. Off white to white pages with again with a very clean back cover. Fantastic Four 20, a 6 5 off white to white pages. First appearance of Molecule Man, as made famous by the Looney Tunes song. Uh, uh, very clean 6 5. Um, or Tiny Tunes, remember that? Oh, yeah, but I think you're thinking of Particle Man. I, I, I know, I was, <laughs> yeah. I was making a joke. Some more. This is another great Doom cover. Fantastic Four 23, 7 5. 
off-white to white pages, Doctor Doom appearance um, with a very clean back cover. Again, I know it's sounds like a broken record, but these are some nice books. 7.5 off-white to white pages is a great grade, uh, page quality and great for a book from 1964. Um, anything Doom is, is definitely hot right now, and I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. And we've got Fantastic Four 39, Daredevil and Doctor Doom appearance. Um, 8.5. Off white to white pages. This is one of my favorite Doom covers. I love him just looming over the uh, cityscape. Scape that is very much uh, you know, symbolic of kind of Doom's just presence. I, I, I really like that. Right, because he's not really Godzilla size, you know. We've got Fantastic Four in '94, uh, 1970, 7.5. Again, white pages, which is awesome. First appearance of Agatha Harkness. That book, ex or this book in particular, exploded because of WandaVision, um, and then it di it dipped off a bit, and it's kind of picked up again. Um, definitely a bit of a spec book, but also a great Fantastic Four key. So, that's the end of our Fantastic Four run, but we've also got some really fun goodies, like Giant Size X-Men. This book doesn't need a lot of introduction. This is a 7.5 off-white to white pages. This is a very nice looking 7.5. Um, gorgeous colors. In fact, I feel like this was graded a bit harshly, in my humble opinion. Um, but yeah, first appearance of the new X-Men, um, which are speculated to be the iteration we're going to see next in the MCU. Who knows? So, first appearance of Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, uh, Thunder, Thunderbird, and um, yeah. Second appearance of Wolverine. Second full appearance of Wolverine. Marvel Super Heroes 17, Origin of the Black Knight. 9 off-white to white pages. Um, this character has maybe uh, fallen off a bit, but he, he's still well-loved. And this is a 9 off-white to white pages book from 1968. Um, so perhaps this is the time to buy this book. And here's some early Strange Tales. We got Strange Tales 101, uh, 6 5 off-white to white pages. Human Torch Story Begins. First solo Human Torch Story since 1954. Recap of the origin of Fantastic Four. And again, 6.5 off-white to white pages is nothing to scoff at. In the next book, we've got a Strange Tales 159. 8.5 uh, white pages. This uh, book exploded with the Falcon, Falcon and Winter Soldier show, uh, where we got Contessa, Vanessa, Banana Fana. I don't know her full name. They just label her as Val. <laughs> She's a very long name. If you know, you know. Um... Again, a book from 1967, it's got a great uh, Cap versus Nick Fury cover. Starenko art in 8.5 White Pages is a, is a really nice book for this. We have Tales of Suspense 94, 8.0 White Pages. First appearance of MODOK. Uh, and again, um, a character that, uh, it's a really cool villain that's kind of uh, peaked and then dropped off again. Um, but yeah, a early tale or a Tales of Suspense book from 1967, 80 white pages, really cool stuff. <laughs> if this be Modoc. All right, in the next book, we got Tales of Suspense 90 from 1967, first Silver Age appearance of Byra. This is the, but it's the first appearance of Abomination, which is a big deal. Uh, 90 white pages. That is a huge book as far as the grade and the, and the page quality. For this, um, so really cool stuff. Got a Silver Age Spider-Man book, Amazing Spider-Man number eight from 1964. It is a low-grade copy, but that means it's affordable for what it is. Two five off-white pages with a Spider-Man custom label. And we've got uh, Iron Man 55 as our next book. Uh, first appearance of this is a multi-key. First appearance of Thanos. First appearance of Drax, and first appearance of Star Fox. Uh, 90 white pages again gorgeous book from 1973 a pretty huge bronze age key that's uh, fallen off a bit but is still solid multiple characters appear star fox now played by harry styles in the uh, eternals franchise and then the last but definitely not least book werewolf by night 32 first appearance of moon knight who uh if the trailer is any indication of how the show's going to be um this book has got a bright future uh, this is a 8.5, again, white pages copy, 1975, Bronze Age, uh, pretty mega key at this point. Um, so, 
This is a great copy of this book. Somebody's going, whoever ends up picking this book up is going to love this. It is a beautiful 8.5. And just to clarify, in the comments, the first person to claim the book gets the book. You don't get it for free, though. You do have to pay for it. So thank you, guys. Please make sure that you subscribe. Give us a like. It helps us out tremendously. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.